Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we are going to go over a great way to get unlimited bone shards with the newest glitch that I had uploaded yesterday. If you have not seen that, check that out. It's a different item that we're using today. So uh, same same type of glitch. If you're new and you do not know, glitching is against the terms and conditions, which means cheating is not acceptable in this game and there's possibilities of a ban, but even a higher chance if you are seen doing this glitch, aka reported. I've been glitching for a while now and have yet to receive a ban. Uh, uh, knock on wood you want to make sure that you have the contractor perk card enabled before you even go any further what we're going to do today is we're using these frog jars to get unlimited bone shards they're a great way to do it and you're going to place down all of these on the ground you can do as many as you want i chose to do i think 15 or 16 here and i'm going to highlight all of them with the blueprint option so that i can make it into a blueprint name it whatever you want i named it ggg and then we are going to scrap each and single one of these frog jars as we are scrapping this you must know if you have fallout at first any of these items that you scrap are going to go to your scrap box if you do not have fall at first then it's absolutely going to your stash box right here so after you've scrapped those frog jars go inside your stash box and we are going to locate each and single one of those items so you can locate the frog jars and the captured frogs once you have both of those go ahead and then go to your junk and also it's going to be in your miscellaneous but for the junk you're going to see the frogs and for the miscellaneous you're going to see the frog jars we are going to drop all of these down on the floor after you have done that we are going to pull up the blueprints see exactly what we need in order to place down the blueprint which is seven frogs and seven jars to be honest you probably do not need to take out the frog jars just take out the frogs i did the jars mainly because i wanted to plant down more of these later on in the future so there's that and uh, as you go down the list like i said it's in the miscellaneous for the frog jars and then and in the junk you will find the captured frogs once we have acquired all the items that we need let's go back to that blueprint and see what's up okay it looks like i grabbed one extra one so i'll just drop that one and then we will then go back to the blueprint and see that we have 7-7 seven, seven. and when we have 7-7 seven, seven, and of course you're not going to get the adhesive back but just plan it down this is where the fun part begins you are going to scrap each and single one again but this time you're going to notice that your frogs have doubled you'll see that once we go into the actual stash box in the beginning of the video you all saw that i placed down 14 of those frog jars once we had made the blueprint it showed that we only needed seven frogs and seven jars to place down the blueprint which means once you have placed down the blueprint and you've scrapped them all you're going to double the amount so we go over and we have all the frogs as you guys see it has doubled once it has doubled you're going to go to your crafting station and scrap those suckers down this is a great way to get bone shards of course the adhesive if you do not have a tons of it then you're going to be lacking that material but you can do this with other items instead of the frog you just have to experiment before i end the video i want to give another big shout out to hello boy for sending this information to me yesterday so i could show you guys as well as a good old thank you to promise death over on discord for letting me know that you can definitely use these frog jars to get a ton of bone shards with all that out of the way have a great day guys stay safe thank you peace